Hello everyone, welcome back to True Mamri. Thanks to all my new and old subscribers. You are all welcome. Those who are working behind the scene uh, to help this channel go. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. I'm so happy we are growing steadily. But I'm happy where we are now by the grace of God. Here, I'm not going to talk about myself. Now I'm talking about the building in front of you. Uh, those who have been following me for some time now, you knew about this building. How we started when I was in Ghana six months ago. And I told you I'll be updating you just to motivate and encourage you. If you are there thinking about our building or doing something, and you still don't know how to start it. This is an example. I keep telling you, start by building in your room. And what I mean by building in your room is getting everything down step by step. Once you get your ass together, everything done, before you start, the rest is history. For example, acquire the land, get the paperwork done, get the blocks done, get your gravels and everything down before you even start. Make sure you get at least, at least 50 to 70% of the materials. So when you start, it will not take you years. It took me years to get to where our house, our guest house is now. Um, and I don't want to for you or my friends to go through the same procedure. I wish I knew what I know now. So you just like start, you telling yourself you cannot do it. No, you can do it. There is a story about all these things that I'm telling you. And one day I will tell you why I'm encouraging my friends and you listen to me now to start doing this. You know, don't say you can't do it. You can do it. If I can do it, why not? You can do it. My friend is doing it now. Some of them will also start soon. You can do it. We have four projects around the same area. This is the second one. The third one will also start by the grace of God. So you can also do it. Just make few adjustments in your life. What do you use your money for? Is it necessary? Is it important? Think about those things. Make adjustments in your life. I'm not saying it's easy. It's not. But once you put your mind into it and your heart into it, you can do it. It's not just house. It can be a business. It can be anything. Once you put your mind into it, you can do it. I'm not saying there's no disappointment, especially in Africa. There's a lot of people that will disappoint you, that will stop you from achieving your dreams, but do not allow them. Once you fall, get up. Get up and start moving ahead. Do not let them distract you. There are a lot of evil and bad people there that are there to use your money, that are there to, to you know, use your money to do whatever they want, enjoy themselves because they do not work for it. But I pray that you do not fall in the hands of those people, your family, your brothers, your sisters, fall into right people so they can help you achieve your aim because it's not easy going back and forth. And if you are in Ghana and you think you can't do it, why not? You can do it. I will show you one house that my, my cousin has built, one single bedroom that she has done it herself. She is in Ghana. You need to start it by one cement to cement and you will do it. Once you start and you put it in the universe that you can do it, you will do it. This channel, once again, is about motivation, encouragement, 
using my own personal experience to help one or two people. If it is million people, I will be so glad and happy. But if one person can take my advice and change their life, praise the Lord, I will be so glad. Please start it. And by the grace of God, you can achieve your dream. Thank you all.